the weather and the climate are making news in more than one region. Severe flooding has killed at least 72 people. And Under siege in the grip of unmitigated catastrophe. The evidence is now clear. Industrial civilization has caused irreparable damage. Our political and corporate leaders have consistently ignored the overwhelming scientific evidence. Not only is it the 11th hour, it's 11.59. What we saw with Katrina is just prologue. Worse is yet to come. The UN estimates that by the middle of the century, there may be 150 million environmental refugees. There are too many of us using too many resources too fast. The problem is that every living system is in decline, and the rate of decline is accelerating. The tragedy is the potential extinction of humankind. We face a convergence of crises, all of which are concerned for life. Will our pivotal generation create a sustainable world in time? People need to realize there are things they can do in their everyday lives. Everybody making a change adds up to something meaningful. Our project today is the welfare of all of life as a practical objective. With existing technologies, we could literally reduce the human footprint on planet Earth by 90%. We have to imagine what it would be like to redesign design itself. These are not technical issues nearly as much as they are leadership issues. There was a time when Republicans and Democrats joined to pass major environmental laws. 500 years out, people look back at this time that this was our finest hour. What a great time to be born. What a great time to be alive because this generation gets to completely change this world. If you were walking somewhere, you find somebody on the road lying helpless, you might want to ask yourself a question. If I stop, what will happen to me? That's the wrong question. The question should be, if I do not stop, what will happen to him? We are both HIV positive. HIV. More and more people are dying. There's going to be no mothers? Because we're so much further into the epidemic. How does a nation cope with that? All fatal wasting diseases are stigmatized. You've got a million kids in trouble. Death is stigmatized. 12-year-old head households. It should never be. The poverty that we have in Malawi, it has created serious social problems. But yet there's a sense of denial. What's happening? Why is everybody silent about this? They face a crisis uh, virtually unlike any other on the planet. There is a phrase in the Zulu language, Umuntu Ngubutu Gabantu. I am because we are. Think about it. I'm not defined without you. My job is to tell them that they've got power to change their community, to change their nation. 
when I see the children to think positively, to say that I've got power to change my nation, my heart will be happy forever. We all belong, and what hurts the one affects the others as well. We have a common fate. This is not an us versus them fate. I am we are. Here in Malawi, I am because there's somebody in America who is part of me. We are all part of this problem and we must address it head on together as one. We're living in a world where we have a choice. The choice is a world that spins out of control. or the world that together solves its problems and finds a path to peace.